Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Graduation day is always a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey, and after is an opening of another journey for a better life and future. Truly, this afternoon signifies the culmination of many years of hard work and facing the pandemic's challenges of studying using the self-learning module for distance learning. Some of you may have struggled and some of you have enjoyed the thrill of this time. But praise be to God for you have been able to surpass all the challenges. To our virtual audiences, pupils, parents, and teachers, welcome to Kolapo Elementary School 7 Moving Up Ceremony School Year 2021 with the theme, Kalidad na edukasyon, lalo ang patatangin sa hitna ng padunya. Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. To start with, let me present to you our school officials, teachers, and PTA officers. And after, we'll be the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the opening prayer and the singing of the school hymn. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
Everyone must feel that they are belonged and appreciated. Let us hear a welcoming message from our very own grade 6 pupil, Kimberly Rose D. Indonilia, with honors. To our virtual audience, the faculty, our dear parents, stakeholders, and fellow graduates, a pleasant morning and welcome to the seventh closing exercise of Colombo Elementary School with a theme of Kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya or Strengthening Quality Education Amid COVID-19 Pandemic. The most significant event in a student life is none other than graduation. It seems it is the end of this stage in our education. It brings us mixture of joy and pain, joy for reaching our goals, and pain for saying goodbye to the people who become a great part of our lives. My fellow graduates, we are about to reach in junior high school. We must enjoy the next six years of our lives to reach our goals. Kinaanglat pag inato niya mag-eskwila sing maayo, pag mas manginwapisan para malapot nato ng atin ginahandom sa palabutod. We would like to thank those who work hard in organizing this well-prepared event. Our graduation is even more memorable because we have spent time and effort to ensure that we will have a meaningful ceremony despite pandemic. Thank you, dear teachers, for the knowledge you have given us and all those lessons you have shared with us. Thank you, dear parents, for working hard to give us a good education. We are happy that you are here with us today because this is a milestone for us. And most of all, thank you God for all your blessings. And so, my dear parents, on behalf of the graduating class, it is my pleasure to welcome you to witness this year's virtual graduation ceremony to receive our awards and diplomas. Classmates, fellow graduate, I wish you all good luck for the coming years of our lives. May the years to come be kind to all of us, and may God and His wisdom bless us with success. Thank you very much. Once again, welcome and good morning. In this moment, Lenny P. Sorosa, teacher in charge of Colombo Elementary School, will present the class of 2021 completers and will be confirmed by Faustino T. Padilla Jr., Public School District Supervisor of Cabancalan 5. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation of Colombo Elementary School this school year 2020-2021, composed of 13 boys and 10 girls, with a total of 23 graduates. I hereby petition the Office of the School's Division of Cabancalan City to certify the completion of the requirements of these candidates. As the school head of Colombo Elementary School, I have carefully scrutinized the requirements submitted in my office and I have found that these 23 candidates for graduation have satisfactory completed the requirements prescribed by the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum for school year 2020-2021. Therefore, certify that these 23 candidates for graduation have fully satisfied the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. Sir, they now await for your confirmation. Greetings to all. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Secretary of Education, Honorable Yonor M. Briones, through the Regional Director of Western Visayas, Dr. Ramer B. Oitico, and by the Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Portia M. Maliorca, CISO 5. Upon the recommendation of the school head, Ma'am Linib, P. Sarosa. I, Faustino T. Padilla Jr., Public Schools District Supervisor of the Schools Division Office of Cabancalan City, 
hereby confirm the graduation of 23 candidates, 13 of whom are males and 10 are females, based on the records that they have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the K-12 Basic Education Curriculum and as such, they are entitled to all rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations, Grade 6 graduates of Colombo Elementary School, Batch 2021. Let us witness the presentation of Class 2021 completers together with their certificates.
in a special occasion like this, it is always right and proper to choose and invite a courageous and a good motivator who could inspire us, especially you completers. Let me present to you our motivational speaker. She is a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in mathematics, cum laude, at Central Philippine State University. Currently, she is a grade 7 advisor at Florentino Galang Senior National High School, Colombo Extension. Let us all welcome Ms. Marianne M. Abria, LPT. Let us give her a virtual applause. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. Thank you, Lord, for this gift of life and for this wonderful day. To our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Portia M. Mallorca, CESO 5. Our assistant school's division superintendent, Ma'am Nelly E. Garotti. Our supportive supervisors of District 5, Sir Faustino T. Padilla Jr. and Ma'am Mary Joan G. Dion. Our very own dynamic and supportive TIC, Ma'am Lenev P. Sarosa. Faculty members of Colombo Elementary School, fellow teachers, supportive parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my honor and privilege to be the guest speaker for this special event. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate not only our graduates, but also our parents who lend their time, love, and sacrifices to support their children in this kind of time. Congratulations to you guys for your hurdle, the great challenges in this time of pandemic. Kayo ang matatawag na pandemic graduates. We will go down as history as such. This year has been so hard for all of us thus far. Simula pa lang ng 2020, kumarap na tayo sa iba't ibang kalamidad at ito ang pandemic or ang COVID-19. Our lives will be forever changed, but we must never stop dreaming, no matter how hard the situation is. The fact that you're graduating today is a solid testament to your focus, commitment in pursuing your dreams. Everything is a story. We all have different story in life. Let me share to you the journey behind my life's sweetest glory. I started my education at Tulambo Primary School. Our school that time was an old house of family ibarios. May kusina, may kwarto, at syempre, may sala din. But learning on that site was so fun. I was so excited waking up every morning since first time ko mag-aral. Wala pa kasing daycare or kindergarten ng mga panahon iyon. I even remember that time na umuulan and ang daan na namin abot hanggang tuhod ang puti. But those situations did not hinder my eagerness to learn and excitement of the word learning. I was once remember when Mama said, Untat ka lang anay dahil kay kaloy sa imo magbuktaw aga pa kag maglakad 5 kilometers gig pa kadto sa Basak Elementary School. At the age of 7, we're in Turkey pa kagamay. Pero ang hambaw kay mama, gusto ko magpadayon kay kalain sa feeling na mabayaan sa mga classmates niya. I continued my elementary journey at Basak. I've experienced na malate kag hindi na lang magsulod sa klase and make balay-balay na lang din masabay man puli pagbuhi na sa hapon at 4 p.m. Maligo sa sapa and deny, deny nga nabasa sa ulan but at the end of the day, mama will still do it. But those experiences made me realize how fun my childhood is. Yung tipong wala kang po problemahe at puro laro at pag-aaral lang ang ato pagi. I was raised by a not well-off family. Kubaga, piga dogi kami. My parents did not even experience graduation in their entire life kasi nga grade 3 at grade 5 lang ang abot nila. But you know what's the best of them? They kept telling us, makita lang namon nga gatingwa kamo 
hindi kami makapoy mangita paagi para masuportahan kamo. I've witnessed how my parents sacrificed just to support us financially and emotionally. Gapang arado si Papa sa umasang ibang, nagalukdo saging si Mama para baligya sa kabantalan, upod man kami nga nagalukdo man sang utan para sa amon weekly kag basic needs. We've experienced also going to school with mga chichiria na baligya and I was never ashamed of it. At that young age, I've realized kabud legally kong pigado ka. And I keep telling myself na tinuha din ko. Because of the sacrifices of my parents na nakita ko, I strive and study hard para may naisukli ako or pambayad sa bawat patak ng pawis na kanilang sakripisyo. I graduated as class salutatorian during elementary and I was assigned to deliver the welcome address. I was so happy that time dahil makikita na ng parents ko ang bunga ng kanilang pagsisika. I was not proud of myself but instead, I am proud of my parents. Graduation is one of those steps in life that defines the coming of age, the ending of one era of life, and moving on to a new stage in which you are a leader, a doer, and an achiever in the wider world. 2007, when my high school journey has started at an Awa National High School. On my first day being a freshman, I was so excited, nervous for the new environment and for the new faces. Sa loob-loob ko noon, yes, high school na ako. Mag-boarding house ako, kaya matatanggap ko rin ang pang one week na allowance. At yun, Buong 20 pesos ang weekly allowance namin ng kapatid ko. At first, I thought it will be easy na mag house ka. Hindi pa pala. Ang daming iyak-iyak na naganap dahil sa homesick, walang digising sa iyo tuwing umaga, maghahanda ng pagkain, maglalaba, lahat-lahat ikaw ang gagawa. Talaga namang napakahirap mahiwalay sa parents. As I go on with my journey in high school, I learned to love numbers. I learned to love mathematics. At sabi ko noon sa sarili ko, gusto ko maging katulad niya kagaling magturo ng math. I really wanted to be like her. I want to be a teacher or a mathematics teacher. Every year, I strive hard para na may naisusukli na naman ako sa parents ko. I've never experienced na magkakaroon ng boyfriend because all I want is just to focus on my study. I survived my high school life na pagkakasyahin ang 20 pesos na baon sa isang linggo. Minsan nga, 10 pesos lang. Waking up early and maglalakad ng 5 kilometers at minsan, tumatakbo pa sa daan tuwing hapon dahil may mga palaboy na dumadaan. Hindi ko inda ang layo ng paaralan kung gaano kami kakapos sa pera at kung gaano kahirap ang buhay. Ang mga karanasan iyon ang nagturo sa akin na magsumikap at gawin ito ng may determinasyon. After I graduated in high school, I decided not to go to college. My parents told me that they can't afford to send me in a university. Wala naman kaming pambayad ng tuition and among four of us na magkakapatid, wala pang nakapag-aral ng college. Namasukan na lang ako bilang kasambahay sa Bacolod. Sa ganung paraan, nakakapagpadala naman ako ng pera na kahit papaano ay nakakatulong din ako sa mga magulang ko sa pang-araw-araw na pangangailangan. Almost 18 months akong naging kasambahay until one unexpected time may nangyari. Na-stroke ang aking papa. I had to stop working para mag-alaga at magbantay sa papa namin. Doon na nagsimulang unti-unti ko nang pinitawan ang mga pangarap ko. I even lost hope in pursuing my dreams dahil sa araw-araw na hirap, luha at pagod na dinanas namin. Sa bawat araw na lumilipas, unti-unti rin nanghihina ang katawan ng aking papa. 
Lahat ng pera ang pinapadala ng dalawa kong kapatid sa gamot lang na pupunta. Punong-puno kami ng mga problema ng mga panahong iyon. Hanggang sa dumating ang hindi namin inaasahan, we've met someone in our lives, someone na nagdala sa amin more closer to God. Siya ang tumulong sa amin na magpaalala na gaano man kahirap ang buhay, lumapit lang tayo sa Kanya, gagaan ang ating mga dinadalang bigat. Makiusap tayo sa Kanya sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. Hindi nagtagal, hindi na rin kinayan ng Papa namin ang Kanyang sakit. Tuluyan na niya kami iniwan. Nawala na siya. Sobrang sakit mo. Nawala na ang isa sa mga rason kung bakit kami nagsusumikap sa buhay. But sabi nga ng pastor, everything's happened for a reason. May rason ang Diyos kung bakit namin dinanas ang pangyayaring iyo. Pagkatapos ng pangyayaring iyo, kailangan namin ituloy ang buhay. Nagpatuloy ang Bible study sa bahay namin hanggang sa mas naging malapit ang relasyon namin sa Panginoon. Nagpagamit ako sa gawain ng Diyos at ito ay ang pagtugtog ng gitara na hanggang ngayon ay ginagawa ko pa din kapag Sunday service. Matagal-tagal din bago namin natanggap na wala na si Papa sa amin. Almost four years akong huminto at hindi nakapag-aral. Namasukan ako bilang weaver sa Negros Nine Organic Farm. Dumaan kami sa mga trainees ng designs, dyeing, at iba pang seminars related sa weaving. Nakakatulong din yun sa pang-araw-araw naming mga pangangailangan. At kapag linggo, Donut at bicho ko'y naman ang tinitinda namin sa tinatawag naming tabuan. Yun na ang naging takbo ng buhay namin pagkatapos na mawala si Papa. And one time, nag-uusap kami nila mama at mga kapatid ko. Sabi nila, what if mag-college ka? Itry lang natin. Kung saan lang tayo aabot, hindi doon lang tayo. Sabi ko, Lord, baka ito na ang pagkakataon ng mga perso ko ang ang dreams ko. Pinag-pray ko kay Lord na kung ano man ang plano niya sa buhay ko, siya na po ang bahala. At first, gustong gusto ko talaga ang accountancy. Minsan kasi, sumama ako sa amo ko noon sa pag-deposit ng kanyang money sa bangko. Nakita ko yung itsura ng isang teller sa bangko. Maganda yung uniform, napaka-presentable ng kanyang mukha at maganda pa yung pinapasukan. But then, dahil nga sa kahirapan, hindi naman namin afford ang course na yun. At isa pa, nasa private din matatagpuan ang course na yun. I-public school lang naman ang kaya namin. 2014, noong nag-enroll ako ng BSN Mathematics sa CPS yung main campus, kailangan kong mapasa ang dalawang exams yung una, university entrance exam at ang qualifying exam ng College of Teacher Education. Hindi ko alam kung anong buhay ang naghihintay sa akin. Sabi nga, try na. Medyo nahihiya pa ako noon kasi mga fresh graduates, mga kaklasiko, at ako ang pinakamatanda. I was the mana of the batch. Pero habang nagtagal, nakaka-adjust din naman. College days, ang daming sakripisyo. Kapag linggo, magtitinda muna ng donut at bichokoy bago pumunta ng boarding house. Kapag sabado naman, sumasideline sa weaving. Nag-apply din ako ng mga scholarships. Minsan nga, naskam pa. Tuwing exams, kailangan kong makiusap sa accounting office na i-minus yung 4,000 na scholarship grant sa buong tuition ko at yung natitira ay i-divide ko sa three exams. Marami rin mga discouragement. Ina-underestimate ka, ina-underestimate mga magulang mo. Sabi nga, paano ba yan makapagpatapos ng anak? Inangungutang lang naman yan. Na hindi raw makapagtapos kasi nga may boyfriend, CPSU, bantog yan sa may maraming nabuguntis at hindi nakakapagtapos ng pag-aaral. Pero lahat ng yun, ay nilulok ko at ginawa kong motivation para mas lalo pang pagtyagaan at pagsikapan na makapagtapos ng pag-aaral. 
But God is so good. He is faithful. Yung sinabi namin, itry lang mag-college, umabot ako ng fourth year. Kinaya naman pala, kasama ng prayer and determination. 2018, I graduated in Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Mathematics as cum laude by God's greatest glory. Graduating in college is not yet the end or the peak of my dreams. It is just the beginning of the greater challenges on how to start in my career. I am still working as weaver that time, and while having my review at CBRC, ang daming criticisms na naririnig ko. Hindi yun mula sa parents ko. Education graduates daw, pero weaver pa rin. Hindi daw umaabot ng 20K ang sildo ko kung bibilangin. Hindi raw katulad ng ibang course na ang daling makapaghanap ng trabaho. It took six months for the review. I took and passed the licensure examination for teachers last September 2018. Pagkatapos nun, processing of let rating, PRC license, and oath taking. At pagkatapos naman, processing naman sa ranking sa DepEd. While waiting for the result of ranking sa DepEd, nag-apply ako as volunteer teacher sa Florentino Galang Senior National High School, Colombo Extension. I started teaching June and almost six months akong nag-teach na walang sahod. Sipag at tiyaga lang. Ika nga sa kasabihan, kapag may tiyaga, may nilaga. Sa awa ng Diyos, my name was on the list of the registered qualified applicants. Another step passed. Starting October 2019, I was hired as teacher one at Florentino Galang Senior National High School. And this was the beginning of the called success in my life. You know what's the lesson I learned from my experiences? It is that you should not expect things. You should not expect the best outcome of everything that you are doing. God's will is better than our will. Gaano man kahirap ang buhay, ilang ulit matayong madapa at dumanas ng failures, just get up and continue life. Manali ka sa plano ng Panginoon. Sabi pa nga niya sa kanyang scripture, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and future. Jeremiah 29:11. Paano nga ba tayo magiging matagumpay sa buhay? Nandiyan ang ating mga magulang, walang sawang nagmamahal, sumusuporta, nangunguta, nagtatrabaho sa ibang bansa, tinitiis ang pangungulila. Talaga naman pong napakahira. Gaya na nga ng wika sa kasabihan, ang edukasyon lamang ang tanging kayamanang maipamamana sa atin ng ating mga magula. In the life journey, masasabi kong nakamit ko ang tunay na kaligayahan at tunay na tagumpay sa pamamagitan ng pagkakaroon ng personal na relasyon sa ating Diyos. Our Lord is not just a great provider, but also protector and the one who guides us in everything we do. Graduates, Thank you, parents, your teachers, and most importantly, our God. This is not yet the end of your journey, but the beginning of everything for you. The real challenge has just started, and you thought that graduation is the end of your hardships in academic? Nagsisimula pala kayo sa pag-abot ng inyong pangarap. And this is the right time that you must equip yourselves with one of the most important tools in realizing your dreams. Quality education. Please do not stop learning. Read, study, seek guidance, apply what you learn. These times are uncertain, and I'm encouraging you graduates to prepare fully when the world opens once more. Soon, be fully prepared and hold on to your dreams. Thank you for the opportunity na may babahagi ko sa inyo ang aking karanasan 
at sana'y kapulutan ninyo ito ng aral at inspirasyon. Always be grateful to your parents for they have sacrificed a lot for you. And to God who support and guide you to where you are right now. Again, my big congratulations to you graduates. Mabuhay sa mga bataang Pilipino. Mabuhay sa ating mga guro. Mabuhay sa ating mga nagira. At mabuhay ang batch 2021 ng Tulang Rock Elementary School. inspiring message for completers Mom Margalyn M. Abria. Being on top is not easy for her. One school year is full of struggles and quest for knowledge. But in spite of it, she strives herself to be a good and responsible pupil. I am very proud to present to you Miss Angelica S. Macas for her speech of gratitude. No words can express the joy that I felt for the opportunity given to me to deliver this speech of gratitude to our virtual audience, the faculty, our dear parents, stakeholders, and fellow graduates. A pleasant morning. We are gathered here today to witness the seven closing exercises of Kulambo Elementary School with a theme of Kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya or strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic. At this point, I have four emotions running through my veins. First, nervous. Kay Basi malimtan ko gulpi akon speech. Second, excited. For we will soon enter the next level of struggle and enjoyment of life in junior high school. Third is happy, for I completed my elementary years with highest honor despite the challenges and difficulties. Lastly, I feel sad because for seven years with my classmates, the memories we shared will soon be replaced by moments yet to be defined. First of all, I would like to thank God for the gift of life and not for following us of love. Gusto ko mapasalamat sa amon ginikanan sa tanan nga sakripisyo nga ginhimo niyo para sa amon. Hindi gid mabaydan sa kun anuman nga butang. Madamo nga salamat sa suporta asta subo. Ang amon diploma para gid ini sa inyo. Sa akon Mama Energy sa Makas, kag Papa Robert Makas, thank you sa pagbantay kag pagpalangga para sa amon duha ni Kenneth. Ma, pa Thank you for making me realize that I am worth to live in this world. Thank you for pushing me for the things you know I am capable of. For the support that I need to build a dream to chase after. Thank you for showing me true love in its simplest form, kung sa fraction pa. Gusto kong kunin ang opportunity na to ng pasalamat kay Father Gore kasama ang Negros 9 Human Development Foundation Incorporation sa walang sawang bukas palad sa pagtulong sa amin at sa eskwilahan. Padre, madamo gid nga salamat. Sa Kulambo Elementary School, ako nagsimulang mag-aral at magtatapos. In this school, I learned how important education and paano makisama sa kap... Isang memory na hindi ko malilimutan. Sinama ko para magtanghal sa batang para sumayaw kasama ang ibang bata para sa anniversaryo ni Father Gore. Hindi naman ako marunong sumayaw pero prosigido akong tinuruan ni Sir Jerry. Ikaw nga, don't think negative, always positive in life. Katulad sa pag-aaral, huwag kang mag-isip na hindi mo kaya. Kaya natin maglakad sa maputik na daan, kaya kaya rin natin maabot ang ating pangarap. To my alma mater, thank you. To my teacher from kinder to grade 6, mga mom ko, sir, salamat sa tunan yung tudlo niyo para sa amon. Sa pagkasaka sa eskulahan, nahandang maglakad sa maputik na daan, matudloan lang kami. To my fellow graduates, congratulations sa bawat isa sa atin dahil nakapagtapos na tayo sa ikaanim na baita. Magkikita pa naman tayo at magkaibigan pagdating ng high school. Congratulations, Kulambo Elementary School of Batch 2021 graduates and mabuhay! Thank you so much, Miss Angelica, for your message. 
Truly, you are such an inspiration to the many. For this time, let us hear a closing message from our energetic and responsible teacher in charge, Ms. Lanev P. Sorosa, LP. Good day, everyone. We gathered here today to celebrate and witness the seventh closing exercise of Colombo Elementary School Batch 2021. I am Lenny P. Sorosa, your teacher in charge, and I am honored to speak to you today. Our theme for this school year is Kalidad ng Edukasyon, Lalong Patatagin sa Gitna ng Pandemia, or Strengthening Quality Education Amid COVID-19 Pandemic. We may be facing challenges because of this pandemic, but the Department of Education is looking forward to highlight the efforts of our learners, teachers, and personnel in championing education amidst the public health situation in the end of school year rights. I would like to say thank you to all the parents, family, stakeholders, and friends for their untiring and constant support to the school, for coming to school just to get their children's modules, as well as to my Colombo Elementary School family, for their guidance and patience in facilitating our modular setup. This school year is yet a unique experience and a memorable one for us. We may be not able to see our moms and sirs, our playmates, classmates, and the four walls of our classrooms. For sure, everyone is filled with excitement and anticipation as the next stage in your lives is about to begin. The support of our parents who became your teachers for this school year made a great impact that made you make it to this day. They have been there for us since the beginning, guiding, helping, and watching you grow every step of the way. Colombo Elementary School, Class of 2021, soar high and fly in aiming what is to be aimed and dream for the better tomorrow ahead. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you and mabuhay. <laughs>